So we're heading off to Port St. John's this morning. And uh, AB's been looking forward to catching a Garrick down at Port St. John's. Do you think you're going to be getting a Garrick down there, AB? Definitely. I'm going to get some Garrick uh -huh. this year. And tell me, what about all of this? Do you think this, all of this? Yeah, we'll fit it. And a boat. And a boat engine. Do you think you're going to get all of that? Yeah, we're going to get it all of this. Into it's such a small this little camper van okay let's see if we can get all of this into this little camper van we'll show you when we're done <laughs> just uh, uh, seen <laughs> crazy eh? like a, it's like a, this is flag stuff yeah this is a flag stuff this is a town that is very busy <laughs> this is a main street town everything happens in the main street yeah can check all the all the just forward like this and, and down so you can see the vendors and stuff. <laughs> Watch the camera like this this way. I can see down. Look at you. You're too up in the sky. I can see you. You can see the vendors on this side. Yes. Yeah, so everything goes on here in the main street mm -hmm. of Flagstaff. And this is you're traveling down to Port St. John's. I know there is a there is a back road, but I'm not too sure of that back road. Rana Supermarket. You can turn it off. But yeah. Here we are in uh, Lusiki Siki. Look at this lovely old building here. Look at it. Absolutely. How many? Look, look at all the grass on it. There's a tree growing out, the chimney. <laughs> Beautiful old building. Hey, check it out. Look at the roof. Wow, that's real old style. I wouldn't mind metal detecting around that building. Amazing. There are a lot of beautiful old buildings here. Yes, there's the one there in the corner here. Yes, the old, uh, I think the old courts. And which way are we going? This way? Yeah, yeah this way. As we go on to Port and Jones. But one thing I must say and give everybody a heads up is speed bumps, guys. Just a heads up. Between between uh, Mount Aleph and Lusiki Siki there are terrible terrible speed bumps and they can catch you unaware so a word of caution just stay alert and like this one in front of us some of them don't have markings on them look at all the old Buildings down here. Yeah. Old church. Eh? All sort of unkept old church in there. Absolutely beautiful. I love that old colonial style architecture. Everything is abandoned, run down, broken. Such beautiful. We got everything out the uh, the van with a little bit more to go. It's all the supplies in the drawers here. Yeah. Got the tent pegs. We'll get the side tents up. And of course we got the 
fishing reels, rod stands, all the important stuff, all the electrical stuff we've got up there in the cupboards, Avi's little tent, and we've got the boat and the motor out already, and we're down at the beautiful Port St. John's. The river's looking absolutely stunning. And a couple of uh, very noisy geese here. Water's pushing nicely. There you, are. you can see it there. You can see that water pushing down there. Looking awesome. Are you happy to be down here at Port St. John's, Avi? Yes, I'm very happy. You're happy? I'm always happy when I, I see this beautiful river. Yeah. We hope like we're gonna get some some fish. You think you're gonna see? get a big one? Yes, I'm looking for a granta. What I'm targeting? I'm targeting the granta. You're targeting granta? Yeah, I spot a granta. I caught the uh, other day when I when I came here. Okay. Uh, I hope this year I'm gonna get some a big one, you know, the biggest. Okay, well, let's give it a go. Let's unpack, get the tents up. Yeah. We're going to get this beautiful uh, 270 degree easy on. We're going to get that up. And uh, we're also going to get up our tent on the other side, yeah? We also have an easy on with uh, sides. It makes it like a little like a little tent so we'll set that up quickly see you just now okay easy on up. so we're going to get this little this easy on up first I need something to stand. Yeah, the straps and what not at all down there. So that's our easy on going up there. Avi's just going to tie it up for us. Get a piece of the uh, tent rope. Okay. Put a little piece of tent rope on it. So that's the easy on up lovely and big very very nice gives adequate coverage and it's an absolute asset when you're going camping not too much of a hassle that was up in a couple of minutes less than five minutes and it's all up now just to uh, peg it peg the legs down and to put the side awning up you ready there with the side awning? Yeah. Now 
So yeah, on your awning, your three pieces, your pole, you get the one without the little spikes on. That one goes in the center, like that. And that one goes in there, spring loaded. And you got two spikes, the spike on either end. So it's got to go like that. And there's your other piece. That goes so you can just keep that one at the ready okay so that's our bag with the sides in Avi's going to open it up there for us and take all the sides and the pieces out there for us those are the side pieces so we get this all set up and then we will we will show you what the end result is. So this, the pole goes through into the little pocket. Push it through. You just push it straight through. Push it. Push it. Start. Give it a good push. There you go. So are we on the right side here? Yeah? Right side. See the hole over there? Yes. In that hole. Hole? Yeah. Okay, now, I'm going to loosen this one. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to loosen the top. Okay. So push it into that hole there. Okay. Sewn up there. Fantastic. That's Avi getting it, getting the zip in there. What a lovely little tent. We'll be back, be back to show you. We'll be back to show you what it looks like once everything is set up. So this is what we look like after. The awning has been set up, that is uh, pegged in, ground sheet pegged in, very comfortable. This is a Toyota Quantum panel van, uh, accommodations for tonight, ample space, it's a three quarter bed in there, all your mozzie sprays and whatnot, everything you need, space for your fishing rods space for your boat to go in you can see all of that all of this comes out of the old quantum that's av setting up his accommodations for the evening or for the next four days yeah you living five star you know <laughs> yeah this is the five star wow what do you think of mine your one is perfect my one is my one is like the um, the penthouse. That's what we're looking like from this side. The uh, the easy on with the sides, very very nice. You can see how well that came together. Got a window here that will open tomorrow. Little doorway, very very lacquer and very easy to put up i think that also went up very quickly this is the inside of it you can stand upright very nice uh, side by side side by side freezer and a fridge and it's a 90 liter altogether so adequate for a good uh, camping trip and you've got the pantry down there washing up washing up uh, whatever those things are called dish and of course the old uh, 
the old bucket with the washing up liquid and whatnot. So yeah, very very lacquer, very comfortable. That's what we're looking like from this side. Very comfortable. Very happy with that. Plenty more space here. You got a good old shoe rack at the bottom there. That's the uh, Spotted Granta Resort on the other side there. I don't know if you'll be able to see anything with the GoPro and that's the moon coming up over the mountain there. It's a really, really nice place. I would recommend a visit to anybody wanting to come around this side. Lack a little bra going on here. See, we've got fire going. We've got uh, some fillet steaks going here. Some bread. We're doing in the frying pan there. <coughs> With a lot of butter. Very, very lacquer. It's a rough supper. Fillet steaks, if I didn't mention it the first time absolutely amazing and we're going to be doing a bit of ground to fill it as well Nice spotty there. I would estimate that to be around 50. What do you think? Yeah. Beautiful. Lovely spotty. Do you want to um, do you want to hold my rod there? Yeah? Mm Let me try and get this Aki off the hook here. Yeah. Oh, solid, okay. The hooks are very nice yeah. Yeah. Hooked into the net. And here we can hear the grunt. That guy's definitely size. It'll make a nice uh, fish curry tomorrow. Hey, well done, first one.
small one. Mm -hmm. Another little spotty. Smaller one. Look, oh, they're healthy. Huh? Probably about 30 centimeters. 28. 28 centimeters. Oh, the water's warm, I can feel it. Yeah. Okay, so. Mm. Small one. Another little spotty. Smaller one. Get him off the hook. Yeah, oh, they're healthy. Eh? Probably about thirty centimeters. 28, 28 centimeters. The oh, water's warm, I can feel it. Yeah. Okay, so. Kremani is cold in the morning. Cold, eh? Yeah. Not that bad, man. We just cold, like blue and cold. Too bad. Okay, well, coffee will solve that problem, eh? Yeah. Sugars. Same as yesterday. One, two, one, two. This little older gas thing, yeah. this little older gas stove works very well there. Eh? This one? Older gas, this yeah. little thing. Yeah. Works very, very well. You must have this thing. You never know when it's going to come back to the city. It's a good camping asset. Mm. Okay, that's uh, like a recall. <laughs> sure, it's cold. They are cold. So we've got one just grander and one smaller one. Yes. Last night that wasn't too bad, so today is your turn. Yeah, I hope so. You better get to the water before I do. <laughs> I'll give you a one minute chance. Doesn't matter. <laughs> when you like, you like. <laughs> Actually, it was so very quiet yesterday, but um, I was so surprised. Like, we got such a nice grandpa. That's a, a little St. Lucia pest, they call it. Yeah, I think this river's full of them at the moment, eh? Yeah, there's a one that... They call it a thorny devil. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, stick... Bring him up. Yeah, that's the smallest. It's 
the smallest little cob I've seen. Lift him up here towards me. Yeah, look at that. That's a proper baby cob, eh? Mm. Dusky. You can see how long it is. Yeah, get him back in the water. What have you got there, Avi? I'm just walking a tail. Look at it. <laughs> Don't you know how to catch a fish in the mouth anymore? <laughs> Everything is touching my bed, I'm walking yeah, now. The tail look. <laughs> it's another little horny devil. Hey, it's boy. A horny devil. Thorny devil. Thorny. St. St. Lucia pest. Actually, there's a lot of lines here. Yeah. That's it. Other lines that has been. Other yeah. Really? Yeah, boo. Is that what I'm hooked up? No, you. Not yet, but I think you also. Plus. Break it off. Okay, well done. Break the, the off. Yes. All the dive boats coming back. So uh, obviously the guys that are still wanting to see sardines. Plenty of dive boats have been out this morning. A whole lot have come back. And Oak's going fishing out there. Tide is uh, pushing high tide at around seven. Maybe we'll get another spotted grunter or two this evening tomorrow if the weather's good we head down towards the mouth see what's happening down there there comes another dive boat a little oh look at that that's a little cubby there oh this river must be fuller then oh that just shows it's a healthy system ah, lovely little cubby off he goes Oh, got Twiggy, Twiggy the cob. Another little cob. Just the river is full of them. Little babies. I had a lack of pool there. Nice one. Get the net. Got it. Got the net. Nice spotted grunter there. Just go straight back, Avery. I just Behind. There we go. Looks about size, eh? There 
we can get him off the get him off the net there. Oh, it might be undersized, Dave, and if you measure him. Why don't you get the tape measure? Then that little bag. Oh, this one fought nicely, eh? Yeah. Lovely little fish, healthy. Let's put the big light on. <sighs> Two centimeters short. Now this one is yeah, 38. Yeah, 38. Okay, so he's got to go back. Will you release him for me? Okay. Lovely fight though. Stand in the light. Okay. Okay. Let him go. Here we go. There's a better one, you AV. Oh, give me a good fight. Oh, it's a little one. I'll just pick it up. A little spotty. Yes, he took like a demon, eh? <laughs> yeah. And he was off. Like a little racing car. Like a racing car. Yeah, hold my rod for me. <laughs> uh, look here we are looking. Where's that? Where's that other blind? Oh, there you go, he's fine. Hopefully, you'll survive straight through the heart. Okay, cheers. There's a better one, Amy. Here it comes. Up the net. Looking like a better one. A better one. Is that still a manganga? Mm -hmm. About the same as the last one. Where's the tape measure? I think he's going to be a little bit short. Another little spotty. Ports and John's, Dave Avey's going to measure him quickly. What is it? Eh? Uh, I can't see. 89.5. No, got to go back. 
get him off the hook, you hold ya. Get him off the hook. And we get him back in the water. Now that one is 39.5. 39.5, so it's like a half off. Back in the water he goes. Push it hard on the gills. Hard, push hard on the gill. Hard, now back in the water. Off he goes. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Do you want a hand? Yeah. Do you want a hand? <laughs> and I had my camera off. <laughs> I'm gonna put myself in the Oh god, that was so funny. <laughs> No, did you get the crab? Just so very close. Only that one. Maybe lately, I don't know what, what it was. I'll just solve it. Okay, okay good. What one? That's my lately one. My beautiful, I don't know what it is. Yeah. Same one, but can you believe I'm catching a tail? Maybe with a river crab there. You'll be able to lift if you booked him. Get him right up. Just swing. 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 Good. It's Avi there with a little river crab. Come Avi, what's wrong with you? Yeah. Don't you know how to hold a crab? Hi <laughs> boy. You just put your fingers like that. Hold him down. And you take him there, the back leg. Live bait. <laughs> Who got a live bait? A oh, small cob. We were catching a lot of them yesterday. Well, we're going to get the boat out. And we're going to go up the river. The weather is beautiful. For a bit of boating. Everything quiet, there's hardly a breath of wind. So I think we'll go up towards the mouth for the incoming tide this afternoon. Uh, let's get this little boat out of its packaging here. Everything fits nicely into this little case. Have a look at that. Got all your bits and pieces in here. Oars, seat. Pump in here as well. Got the bottom in there. So, yep, there goes the little boat. And we come to Cremon to pump. You can get a good pump when you've got a boat like this. Itch. Right, so we're almost there. 
remember whether you've got an inflatable boat, you still got to get the floor in. So don't pump it too hard. Don't inflate it completely, you've got to get the floor in first. And then you can stiffen it up after that. And to get the floorboards in, get the little front one and get this out so long. Close that up. Get the front one in. Just push it in like that. So it seats nicely inside. Both sides get in. And then you just give it a kick. So you can see, it must fit right up into the nose. Give it a good kick. And there we go. Right. Then the two center ones. Get them in place. And that's nicely in place there. You just stand on them until they seat in the bottom nicely. Just like that. And there they all in place. And there you have your flooring. You can push that one up a little bit if you like. Go up. There we go. Close the gap a bit. Right, it's bumper. That's Amy with a lovely little mud crab. Mud crab, you can see there it's quite a, it is a size one, I think size for crab is 80 across the carapace. And this one is a female, turn it up Amy so we can have a look. So you can see the size of the pouch, the size of the pouch here, it's a wide pouch, short wide pouch. Even today I'm threatening to get in the mouth. Aircraft coming off the cliff again. Doesn't give you much warning. Looks about size, eh? Where is it? In this little bag. Uh, maybe the... Yeah, this one falls nicely. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Finish there. Yeah. Two centimeters short. Mm. Uh, this one is thirty-eight. Yeah, thirty-eight. Mm, thirty-eight. Okay, so he's got to go back. Okay. Did you release him for me? Yeah. Okay. Hold on, boy. That'd be fun, though. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, that's a nice spot here. Mm -hmm. Got the torch on. Sorry. Got the spot here. That's why they count at about 40. Yeah. <laughs> 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 In a bone, so there's a thing. Hmm? Yeah. Same. Mm. Yeah, I told you. That's my uh, uh, you want to be in the donga again? <laughs> huh? Oh, that's a nice little spot here. Eh? Very nice. You got your torch shining at me. Sorry. Like a little spotty. That one looks like it's about 40. You measure him. Get him right there. Maybe there with a the little cubby again. Light's not very nice, eh? Mm -hmm. That light. This is the big tree fishing spot at Fort St. John's. It's all been leveled out nicely now, and we can have a closer look at it. Those lines in the water there, the big tree, uh, they're just fishing right there. Yeah. Well, yeah. The heads. That is uh, Ferry Point. I think they call it Ferry Point. Or the Port St. John's River Mouth. And just around the corner from that is Agate Terrace. Agate Terrace or Agate Terrace, I'm not too sure, but something like that. At the River Mouth here. Looking for the channel. You can see all the oaks fishing out there, a couple of boats out there and see what's going on there and of course we are jigging with a paddle tail no what's that thing called again not a paddle tail it's a back tail back tail jig yes Matty he's enjoying his day Yeah, what happened? What does it call this pothole? Yeah, it's warm. Yes. Yeah, that's why. I'm not a weatherman. <laughs> by no means a weatherman, but that's what I think. Because the nut is biting actually. Well, this is warm. This is yes, warm. yes, I, I, 
I can't feel nothing, even me. Dangerous, you can see how you sink here. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful, lovely view in the mountain pots and chants. People are fishing. It's a beautiful day. It's Martin's birthday, actually, today. And we're having fun in Port St. John's. Yes, some uh, some divers. Port St. John's lighthouse up there is the river mouth. A lot of guys fishing in the mouth here. Seems to be a lot of activity. A lot of fishermen. Not too many boats this weekend. I think the water's a little on the cold side. But uh, otherwise the mouth's looking good. That's uh, one of the sardine dive boats coming in there. Looks like there's a little channel running right on the other side. Seems to split into two here. Yeah? Two little channels. Another little channel right on the other end there. It's been fantastic weather today. I'm sure these guys must have had a whale of a time out there. Don't know how calm the sea is though, it doesn't look all that calm. Very nice, very nice indeed. Port St. John's, river mouth, you've got a seagull in it there, the sand is very soft, you can see the lighthouse up there, now that's where we need to be, just off the edge of the sandbank, you can see the sandbank there, but I'm not going to chance it because the sand is so soft, and I'm big and fat, I know I won't uh, sink, probably float, I don't know which way I'm going to float. Now I'm sinking already. Check how soft the sand is. You sink in, yeah. That's not worth the risk. That's the old Cape Hermes Hotel. Right across the, the way from the river mouth, yeah used to be a vibrant hotel back in the days I think in the 70s and 80s that is where Capital Radio was uh, stationed all gone to ruin it's an absolutely glorious afternoon the mouth of Port and Zons. Things have been pretty quiet though. I haven't seen anything coming out. Small grunter on the uh, boat over there. Tide starting to push. Let's see what happens. Another one of the uh, dive boats coming in. Coming in through the channel here. <laughs> Sardine guys coming in again, dive boats, and giving them a bit of a dice on the river here. We're winning so far, not for long though. 
reveal your line in. That's the, the cormorant and Egyptian geese in the trees. Beautiful. Go back in if you like. The little diker bird enjoying the afternoon sunset. Diker, yeah, you must take you. And of course then there is the time to get everything packed up. It was a lovely weekend down at Port St. John's and the packing up starts. What did you think of the weekend, Davey? It was fantastic. It was lovely. There was no wind. There's no was no terrible weather. It was sunshine all the days. Yeah. Like we happy for that. We really hope so next time it's gonna be like this. Anyway. And about that big fish? <laughs> Did you catch a big fish? Did you catch much fish? Uh, I'm sort of disappointed you guys. But but uh, it seemed like everyone no one very quiet. Very Nobody quiet. caught fish. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Anyway, let's get cracking with the packing again. We'll see you again. And uh, we'll see if we can get all of this clubber back into the into the van.